let me show you how you can play bingo. So over here where it says my name, I'm going to go ahead and change it to my name. My name is Amy Stowes, even though you call me Miss Stowes. Then I clicked, so I got out of the text box. So here I click the text box again, and then I move this little white arrow away, and I click it, and no more text box. Now I want to play bingo just like I would on paper, so I want to try to draw on it. Over here, there's a little line. So I can use that line, but I want to make my lines a little bit different. So I'm going to click this arrow to drop it down, and I'm going to pick Scribble. Now, as I look across my page, I can scribble on different pieces. So I baked cookies and treats. I'm just going to move that a little bit. I am going to click my scribble again and I'm going to mark that I did a puzzle. I'm going to click my scribble again so that I can mark that I went to a park. And I'm going to click my scribble again so I can mark that I went to the beach. And I'm going to keep doing that with all of my scribbles. I could also use a regular line to do even lines to cross out that I saw a sunset if I wanted to make nice neat X's. When I click on the line, then I can change it to different things. So I can change the color. I can make this one red. And I can make this part of my X green. When I do that, I can also change the thickness. So these little bars right here, I can change how thick it is. The bigger the number, the thicker it is. So I can make it size 3, and it will be pretty thick. I can make it size 8, and look how thick that is. If I click here with these scribbles, I can change it again to a different darker scribble. So I'm just going to keep playing with my bingo, and when I get bingo, then I can call out bingo in class, and then everyone will know that I got bingo.